Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today, we're gonna make some chicken wings in the wok, and we're gonna have some noodles. We're using the Texas Pete wing sauce. All right, I already got my, I always boil my chicken first, that way I know it's good and done in the center. That's why you're seeing this. Um, I will have to turn this fan on, so sorry about that. I'll try to speak up for you guys. So, getting my pan ready here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of olive oil in there. I like using regular oil, but um, Monkey likes the olive oil. It's a little more healthy. All right. I'm gonna put half of this in right now. Well, probably not even half, but. There's that. It's about, oh, a third, a third of it. Let's see if we got, yeah, we're ready. So let's go ahead and put our wings in here. We love us some wings. Monkey really liked these the way I made them. I made them a few nights ago like this. <coughs> Excuse me. She got the chicken. It was buy one get one. So she uh, went ahead and got two and enough sauce. And I was like, well, okay, I'll make them again. And she really, really liked them. So, and like I said, we're going to have the wide lemme noodles, which I'm going to put in. You boil them for about four minutes. And, uh, whoa. You boil them for about four minutes. Then you take them off and you get them cool. I just usually uh, fill it up with water. Uh, once I strain them, I'll fill them up with water. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to let these get, get warmed up. Once they do, I'll be back with you. But first, um, let's go ahead and let's put these noodles in here. And the scissors are right behind me. Now these, you kind of want to make sure you got a, a good size pan. And I just put a few in at a time. Because if these things stick together, they're impossible to get apart. You might end up with a clump of 10 or 12 together. That has happened to me. When that happens, they don't really cook. And if you get them to where they do cook, the other ones will get really, really salty. So this is how I do it. Just make sure they're, uh, they're broken up there. Well, not broken up, but you know what I mean. You can break them if you want, but I'm gonna cook these for four minutes. I'll start a timer. And these are getting nice and nice and warm now. The pan's getting nice and warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about two-thirds of that. And I'm gonna let these simmer in here for a little while. Um I'm going to add some lemon pepper. Now this is not really a recipe, guys. It's just something I do. So there's no... I'm not going to tell you like a teaspoon or anything like that. I got some uh, seasoning salt. It's just Lowry seasoning salt. I'll use the rest of that. That probably was a teaspoon, but that's okay. Now... I'm going to add some, where is it, some cilantro, which I'll probably just add the rest of that, because there was a little bit left. I use a lot of spices, guys. Okay, now I'm going to keep stirring these things up, especially the noodles, I don't want them sticking together. And I'm going to 
keep flipping these and make sure that they don't stick. Sometimes I'll use a spatula, which I might do with the noodles. A metal one, I know people say, don't use metal in your cast iron. It's cast iron, you know? It's not, what's that stuff, you used <laughs> that non-stick stuff, what was that stuff called? Yeah, it's not Teflon, okay? This is, uh, it's cast iron, you're not gonna hurt it. You're not gonna scrape the seasoning away. Besides, you should regularly season your cast iron. I season these probably, this thing, I do at least once a month, at, at the minimum, once a month. So all we're doing here, the chicken is really done already, I mean it's done. But I'm gonna let it simmer so we can get some of that sauce soaked up in there real good because we're gonna take these out, then we're gonna put our noodles in here, and then we're going to, uh, we'll kind of stir fry them up really quick and yeah that'll be pretty much it so hang tight guys I'll be back with you and this was what I was talking about see there's um, a three of them four of them there gotta be careful with that my bad okay guys so I'm gonna dump these into here see I had one stick in there that was my fault I was uh, busy doing some other things. All right. Now, I'm gonna pour some water in here and uh, get this cleaned out. Then we'll put our noodles in. Okay, this is a breeze to clean up now. As you can see, I didn't wash it, wash it. I just rinsed all that stuff out. We're gonna add some of this in here. All right. And we're gonna add the rest of our bouillon chicken bouillon cube because we're having chicken don't matter use whatever you want right so love that stuff now I saved some of the water from the chicken I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there to help melt that bouillon cube down Give the chicken some, or the noodles some more flavor. Now we're gonna put our noodles in there. Now we're gonna just going to uh, let this sop up some of that juice. Just a little active added measure just a little bit tablespoon whatever you want I wanna add the rest of that like I said I don't know how much that was it was probably about a cup Um, this is really good with um, fresh garlic, but unfortunately I have no garlic, I don't think, um, but fresh, fresh clove garlic is always the best. I got some of this stuff, but alright, let's use some of it. Okay. Just a teaspoon. But, you know, add whatever you like. However much you like. That's why I say, you know, recipes is just a... Uh-oh. Recipe is just a, a starting point of something. To me, there's no right or wrong way. If you like it, and it turned out good, and let's say your guests like it, it's not a fail. If you don't burn it to a crisp, it's not a fail. All right. Now, I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on these. And I'm just going to keep stir frying them for a minute. I won't bore you with that because I know this is noisy, but I love this thing. 
So, I'll be back with you. And next time you see it, you'll, you'll see the chicken on top of the noodles. And there it is, guys. Very simple, very easy, and very tasty. And to prove it, we're gonna get our taste tester guinea pig out here, Monkey. I got her out here, and she's gonna try it. Although she tried it the other night, but we're just gonna have her try it again. That's good. All right. Okay, so there you guys go. Just some, you know, hot wings and the and use whatever sauce you want, whatever. Just some hot wings in the uh, and noodles in the wok. Mm -hmm. Real simple, real easy, real tasty. Very good. All right. Well, monkey's gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. We are having an early supper. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's only four o'clock, but hey, right. But so our late supper, maybe we'll try one of them soups out. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear and Mental Man Legend. Go for now. I'm out for now. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Gotta eat.